military briefing. Here now is General Howard Yankoff. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. America. I am General Yankoff. Welcome to our briefing. Our U.S. forces were victorious over the Iraqi military, as we can see. Next, next. Look at our charts, look at our bar graphs. Here is a chart of casualty statistics. Deaths, U.S., Iraq, next. Now, here is the chart reflecting U.S. plane kills versus Iraqi plane kills. Next, next, next. Now, here is the most shocking and amazing information. Take a look at this chart. General, general. Next. Uh, what chart is this? It's a chart of last week's Howard Stern Show ratings versus Saturday Night Live. As you can see, the Howard Stern Show really kicked their ass. Okay, right. So much has happened this week. What a TV show this is. What a TV show this is. I was at war with everyone on this stinking TV show. Let me tell you something. Enjoy this show because it ain't going to last much longer. What really? How many more shows do you think we have? Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not going to call attention to myself anymore. Look at your breath. I don't have oh. anything to say. Oh, man. I... Get away! Oh, oh man, look what at that. What are you doing to me? What are you, a spokesmodel or a newswoman? <laughs> even communicate with anyone on this show anymore all i did was rob and i called you know i'm very excited i want to show you something right now before we get to the big horse race the spokesmodels chrissy hind is here from the pretenders Ooh. and uh we're gonna have a big round table discussion about animal rights and the big dating swingers hookup game okay, find out what right. happened last yeah. week but i just want to say something <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want me to put this. They didn't want me to put this sign up at all. Really? Yeah. The executive producer of the show didn't want me to put this sign up. He didn't want me to show you the new box to my uh, CD, my new CD, crucified mm -hmm. by the FCC. But I'll unveil it now. This is the number you would call to get the CD. Here it is, Robin. The new box set, crucified by the FCC. Wow. Yeah, show it to the camera, Robin. Oh well, I Who had cares never if seen you it. See it. I had never seen. There it is. I was anxious to see it. You dial that number. So I said, hey, I just want to show it to the audience and stuff. They didn't want me to show it, but screw them. Get I'm showing it. Get a good picture of and it. And don't edit this out. Get a, good, get a good picture of that. There you go. How beautiful is that? It's a double oh. CD set with a magazine inside. Right. Howard Stern crucified by the FCC. Who's the guy playing Jesus? That's me. <laughs> That's me with my cross. <laughs> All the stuff that the FCC won't let me air. Put that right here. That's going to stay on the set at all times. That sure is. <laughs> Thank you. Just every minute something's not going on, take a picture of that. Yeah. Every, t every time the show gets dull, just take a picture of that, okay? You can order that now. Thank you. You must be 18 or old. Now, where was I? Oh, this is pretty cool. I want to show you this. Um, there was a horse, there's a horse named Howard Stern. Really? Yeah. And someone taped it running up in Philadelphia. Oh. Did it win? Uh, we don't know. We're going to find out. Yeah? Let's take a look. Here it is. Ready? It's a real horse race. It's a real horse race. There's a horse named Howard Stern. They're all on the gate. Number five is and Howard they're Stern. Off. Breaking to the right at the start, two just about now, but quickly comes away with a two and a half length jump on the field. Three wide is see which one. Four wide on the outside is Princess Moa. Where am I? And it's three and a half You don't look like you're in the running. To Howard Stern. And another six to Waltzing Queen. Princess Moore on the outside. In on the rail is Ange. Still on the outside making a bid. Have to go three wide is Howard Stern. Oh, you're That's making a bid. Back yeah, I'm coming. To serve notice is Waltzing is real... Queen. Where am I, Rob? A little more than a quarter of a mile. Oh, you're going fourth. just about now. The lead is still three lanes. And just holding tough along the fourth line. Is that you coming up? Yeah, there you go. Right, you're making a move. You're making a move. Who wants a bet? Right, bet. bet right now? I don't think you have it in. Do you think I will win? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think ah. I will win? <laughs> Oh. And what if I pause this and make people wait till the next segment to find out the results? Hey, there you go. Higher rating. Get your bets in now. 
Get your bets in now. Bet all your friends. And order quickly. 1-800-52-STERN. During the commercials. Hey, to our executive producer. Hey. Ah! <laughs> you, you, this is going in the show, pal. Don't make me nuts. Let me introduce to you now our spokesmodel, Chelsea. Ah. Ooh, a black spokesmodel, Robin. Oh, well, our first it's one. about time. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait a second. <laughs> yes. You're a very young girl, aren't you? You're black? Italian and black. You are Italian and black. Whoa. That's a good mixture. That's a very good mixture. <laughs> Jackie, what's that mean when a girl is Italian and black? Uh, she steals spaghetti sauce. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. You the, know uh, what? Don't uh, stay tuned after this show. Uh, hey, if there's any good comedy writers out there who want to work on the show, uh, uh, why don't you give me a call? Well, he's too busy with that spotlight cafe. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boy, that show's pretty good, huh? <laughs> boy, that's, that's a format. That's a brand... Who put that together? Who's the executive hey, producer hey. on that? <laughs> All right, now, where were we? You are very beautiful. How, how old are you? 18. You are 18. You are so young, embarking on your spokesmodel career, aren't you? Well, I'm going to help you. You know, I have never, ever... Why is she cowering like that? Are you that? cowering? Do you find me that... Come over here. We're going to play some Twister. Come on over here. Do you ever play Twister? Yeah. Do you know how to play the game? Yeah. All right. Let me show you this. We are going to play Snapple Twister today. Oh, I, this is a new variation. Don't you think this is fun? You are so young. You're only 18, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are too young. Have you ever modeled professionally? No. You have never gotten a job. Look how beautiful your body is. How much do you weigh? Um, 120. I 120? No way you weigh 120. You're not big in the caboose. <laughs> You're very beautiful. Very beautiful. Now, what we do is we play Twister for Snapple. You see all the natural beverages right here? Mm -hmm. Snapple has a wide range of flavors, from the traditional, like, true root beer, to the, to the wild, like peach melba and raspberry royale plus five great tasting diet sodas. Snapple also makes all natural juices, drinks, real brewed iced teas, seltzers, and Snap Up, the first all natural sports drink. Snapple natural beverages made from the best stuff on earth. Now, how do you play this game? How do you play this game? Robin, now here's how you play. You spin first. All right. Oh, look at that. You landed on red, made from the best stuff on earth. So you have to, now don't you have to put one body part on red? Right. All right, put one of your body parts on red. Now I play. I spin the board, and look at that, I get yellow. Okay. So I go on yellow. All right. Now you spin. Yellow. You must put another body part on yellow. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> and this isn't cheating, so my wife can't say anything. Green. green. This is green. I have to put a body part on green. Now it gets interesting, Robin. <laughs> now what are you going to do? All right. Red. Yes. No, 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 right. no, no, no. You have to keep all your No, body you, have to put parts. It, you have to put your foot back on... Uh, right. Now, now you have get to put something another on body. red. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Game over. You said you want to be a spokesmodel? <laughs> yes. She wanted it like Ed McMahon, you know? You know, you kind of talk like Michael Jackson in a way. Anyone ever say that? No. Are you real shy or something? No. You ever sleep with a guy? You're just about to. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yellow. Uh-oh. You're running out of hands. <laughs> oh, my. I think hey, we have to stop up. now. Yeah, you spin. <laughs> we'll be right back after these words. <laughs> Big war going on in here. War. During the commercial, our executive producer, I think, was going to fire me for having this on camera. What did he say? He sent out a message that said it... Damn, what was the message? That I have to remove all of this stuff or else. Oh, there was some kind of message that it made you look strange, having that white sign next to your They're face. trying everything. First they said the white <laughs> sign makes me look too dark. And I said, hey, I don't care how I look. I don't, I've given up a long time ago. Then they said, well, you can't have that up the whole time. We don't want it. So I said, well, you tell our executive producer to come down here and remove it himself. <laughs> <laughs> on camera. Like a I man. Why can't we ever have a nice little show? No, there's always <laughs> tension on this set. <laughs> Unreal. See, everyone is trying to keep this tape out of your hands, but I won't let it happen. It's going to happen. It's going to get in your hands. I'll do anything, won't I? Let's see who crucifies you first, the FCC or Bob. Well, Bob's like Saddam Hussein. He hides in his bunker upstairs and just doesn't want to come down here. Lopping scuds! Yeah, he's lopping scuds and missiles and junk. All right. I bet you can't wait to find out the results of that horse race. All your bets in? Never mind those results. I want the results of whether or not Robin's breasts will fall out during this show. 
Look at them. They are so lovely. I don't know why two pieces of flesh have this effect on men. <laughs> it's just like my arm, same skin. <laughs> You've never sung to me before. I don't know what this means. <laughs> Means I'm losing my mind. <laughs> anyway, where was I? <laughs> we were racing, Howard. Oh, Gary was You're explaining in the fifth something to me. Baba. I mean, the fourth position. Baba Booey was explaining something to me. What, what was, was that? It? The numbers on the screen, like yes. it says uh, two, seven, one, five. It means the two horses in first place, the seven horses no, in second place. I know that. Place. I thought that was the tail end of a phone number, Gary. Uh, I, oh, Baba I thought you're supposed to dial that, and then you get <laughs> like you three say, videos. Where is my horse? Are you an animal or what? It's <laughs> what? Obvious. Are you, you, are, you are such a Jeez. retard. It's obvious your horse is in fourth place. You didn't know that because you kept saying, "Where's my horse? It's in fourth place." No, I meant I can't see the horse. They're in a bunch, you dope. <laughs> we didn't know. I'm a buoy. No, what? Now take a look at the numbers on the bottom of your screen. These are the number of dentists that <laughs> failed Gary. <laughs> In the first 2,715. Year, That's right, Robin. 2,715. Give him a big <laughs> smile, Gary. There you go. Look at that, huh? That's why he helps me. <laughs> what a dolt. Of course I know who Wilbur. All right, there we go. Now, have you all placed your bets? Will Howard Stern come up? Will, will Howard he win? Stern win? I say Howard Stern will come in second. I don't think you have it in you. You don't think so? No. Who, what do you say, Gary? I don't think he'll come in the money. You don't think he will win? No. You don't think Howard's... John... Hey, what does come in the money mean? I... Oh, what do you mean? Wait a second. <laughs> come in the money? I don't... Is that a horse race or something? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, Show okay, off. good. Show off. That means he won't false. win. You know that 27155 is a false horse. It means you're he good, won't win. You're in the fifth Baba position. Boy. Yeah, you're in the... No, you're number five in the fourth position. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. I can ride you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Boom seems about to become a foursome. Here comes Waltzing Queen with a four wide bid for the lead. They're coming, I'm coming up. Home. Coming back to the field just about now. Very leg weary. Waltzing Queen on the outside Waltzing from Queen. Dead Lance is now moved to the top and is pulling away with every stride. The lead is three along the inside. Gee, Gary, there's no numbers. I can't tell what's yeah, going on. Yeah, where's uh, our horse? Well, now, because it's from the side, you don't need the numbers. <laughs> I'm still in, the in fourth place. You're in the this, stretch. I'll show you right here with my little thing. Right here is uh, number. That's me, right here. That's Howard. See? That's why they named him Howard. You see what's going on underneath? <laughs> uh, this is what, number six in the lead? Waltz and Queen. I'm never gonna make it. I'm never gonna make you're, it. You're, fa you're losing faith in I'm yourself. I'm losing faith. And Andrew's second right alongside. It's just about now. But they're all watching Waltz and Queen leave them behind. Waltz and Queen in front. Come on, Howard. Yeah. No, it's over, Robin. <laughs> now, boss, you see that on the bottom? Howard Stone finishes fourth. What's that mean? Oh, that mean? What's that mean, Gary? <laughs> By the way, we have a close-up of my horse's face, if you'd like to see. Let me just show you that. Because uh, we should get to know him. Remember this nag. Yeah. That's a horsey trick. There he is. Look at that. Oh, look at those. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Gary, you fooled us again. Baba Booey. Baba Booey. Oh, no wonder you know so much about horses. Gary, you have that All right. Very good. What a show, huh? Well, listen. Don't go away because what we have coming up is Chrissy Hine talking about animal rights. Yeah. She don't want you eating animals. Peter. Hey, I like chicken. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I like it. I like to eat my chicken. I mm. like it. Wah, 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 wah. I like breast of chicken. Murderer. Oh. Murderer. <laughs> pain. Maybe she'll spray me with pain. Hmm. But Chrissy Hine's going to be here. We'll be talking to her. See what the hell's on her mind. I think she digs me. Hmm. We, <laughs> can, we can find out for ourselves. And uh, also, who else is going to be here, Robin? Uh, that's it, isn't it? Swingers oh, Swingers Hookup Game, that's right. I completely forgot. First, let me tell you about the Brother Pete Touch 3 with our beautiful spokesmodel, Aunt, uh... Chelsea. Chelsea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're not playing Twister this time. <laughs> By the way, for, the, for those of you at home, we checked Chelsea's driver's license during to the commercial. Sure. And she's 18. It's All okay right. to play oh. Twister with her. <laughs> now, Chelsea, you look very nervous, are you? No. Is this your first modeling job? Yes. Yeah. And you want to be a professional model? No. You just want to be near me? Are you, uh, you were very fascinated by me? What, what made you want to become a spokesmodel? What was that? I just want to be near you. You just want to be near me. Yeah, okay, very good. Half Italian, half black. Uh-huh. Now, Jackie, what does it mean when you're half Italian and half black? She eats barbecued spaghetti. She eats barbecued spaghetti. The he, host. He's getting there. He's getting there. One he's working it up. I know we'll get All there. right, now, do you see this? This is the P-Touch 3. 
<laughs> Brother P Touch 3. This is the best labeling system as far as I'm concerned. Now, Brother is issuing a warning, Robin. Yes. We've got to sell some P Touch 3 labeling systems here tonight. Uh oh. Or there's big trouble. The Brother P Touch labeling system makes adhesive labels instantly. And they want to sell labels tonight. You can make labels in five colors, four styles, and five sizes. This is like a little computer keyboard. All you do is press down here, and then you, uh, whoops. Ooh, I accidentally touched your stomach, didn't I? Whoops. <laughs> well, I, whoops. Whoa. All right, take it easy. Your father's not watching, is he? No. Does your father uh, live with you? No. He doesn't? Where is your father? He, my mom, my father was your father divorced. the black one or the Italian one? Was your father black or Italian? Italian. Italian. Ah. And your mother was the black one, I take it. <laughs> Fascinating, huh? <laughs> now, let me tell you about the P Touch 3. Tonight you can call and order this remarkable machine by dialing 1-800-526-6666. And when you look at this thing, you hit print and out comes a beautiful label. I mean professional labels. Look at this. And move your hand. You see that? Look at that. I'm printing vertically tonight. This is a vertical ba ba buoy. See that? Look how professional. <laughs> so order one right now. It's the Brother P Touch 3. Thank you. Isn't that a nice box? It's a beautiful box. Everybody loves a nice box. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A laugh of a mental patient? <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Now, listen, Rob and I invaded the set of Nine Broadcast Plaza. Yes. I did. I really did. It's very beautiful what happened. You know that show with the black hostess? Right. What's the, her name? Janet. Ah, yes. Janet Langhart. Now, you invaded again. I invaded the set again because it's fun to see me invade different shows. <laughs> and watch when I kiss her at the end. I think she was you going for it. Her? I kiss her. Watch this. You'll love it. All right, let's introduce the ladies in the lives of these... Dumb now, this is the r weird part. You see that whole, you see that whole staff there? Who are those there? people? That's a bunch of guys dressed up like women. Oh. Who are in a rock band. They dress like... Some of them dress like women, and some of them are women, and some of them are guys. I didn't know what was going on. I had no idea what was going on. The, the real women are their girlfriends. The real women are their girlfriends. Right. So they were proven, hey, we're not homosexuals. Right. This is just a thing to get attention. Hmm. Okay. Gentlemen, we first have Crystal Light's fiance, Julie. Good morning, Julie. Hi. That's a guy. Hollywood's, I don't know. I guess we don't have anybody for you. Yeah, I'm back. Oh, Hollywood girl. Hey, I'm Hollywood's girlfriend. <laughs> Again, you get a great ovation. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, this back. went on for five minutes. <laughs> Woo! These are people who sit through a three-hour show. They're bored out of their mind. Time broadcast plaza. Yeah. Anything you see on this show. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Is that is that a guy? Yeah. That's a guy. Why, Why me? Why, Why you? me? All right. First of all, I just got, I don't I don't mean to interrupt. We'll get back. What are you guys? A transvestite band? <laughs> what is that? Are those guys up there? Those are guys. That's a guy. You're a guy? Who's a guy? I'm a guy. You're a guy? Yeah, feel it. Feel it. <laughs> Whoa. Let me feel it. I felt it all right. Let me have that mic, too. You want to take both phone, mics. Take yeah, okay. Phone. All right, here, I did you a favor. What'd you do? Oh. Remember I told you you should wear sexier outfits yes, on this show if you, you want to get your ratings up? Because there's no ratings on this show. <laughs> now, here. Here we go. Now, look. What have you got for me, Howard? Now, put your head... See, look at that. Wouldn't that be nice? Now look at this. Now look at this. How's that? Oh, which like body that. do you like better? Like that. Lift it up. Hey, that looks good. Hey, you, come up here for a second. Come here, man. Come here for a second. Here you go, dude. That's a guy? What's looks like a lady. Hey, what's your story? Hey, don't you people work on this show? I mean, how do you... Did you ever do a show where, like, you ask your audience... I've always watched this show. I say, well, how the hell does an audience have time you to be here? You watch our show, Howard? You, you guys are here for three hours? <laughs> hey, wait a second. An audience full of losers. You guys got to get out and work. Come on, let's go. Go look for jobs. Yeah. Which one of these bodies should I take? I can't... Now, we had a debate on our show. I don't understand something. If both of your parents were black, 
How did you get to be so light-skinned? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I don't understand the whole thing. Well, because I stayed out of the sun. Oh, I see. You stayed out of the sun. Well, you're very beautiful. So Give me a kiss. You. Give me a kiss. How are you, Howard? Uh-oh. Woo! She was giving me tongue. You know I gotta go. Now that she's a widow. Oh really? You were Maybe gone? she hasn't been with a man in a long time. She's a widow. Time. Really? Yeah. What her husband die of? I think he saw that kiss. Maybe you ought to get her on the show next week and find out what the hell happened. <laughs> yeah, there's lots to talk to her about. I'm telling you, man, she was like going for it because wow. I was on her lips, and then she was Maybe like, Maybe she know, doesn't know you're married. Sorry. I don't know. She's thinking you could be husband number two. I would take that action. <laughs> I thought I smelled right. something. What? I don't know. <laughs> I thought I smelled love. I like that, huh? Watch this. You can't this. believe it. You know, they were asking me, what was it like to kiss Howard Stern? <laughs> I really didn't stick my tongue in his throat like he said. No, I didn't. I did. Yeah. Hey, what woman wouldn't want this tongue? Are you kidding me? Come on. You know you want it. What, are we taking a break? Oh, no, we got another commercial? All right, let me go over and do it. I think the show's making money, Robin. <clears throat> I really Somebody's do. Somebody's making some money, Howard. Well, we have a treat for heavy metal fans. Yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're supposed to hold it. I'm sorry. I didn't even bring a microphone over for you, so you can't say anything. Or okay. well, if you say something, I'll read your lips. Now, this is a new video. What do you do for a living? I play in a band. You play in a band? Yeah, talk right into this microphone. <laughs> hey, I'm all sexed up, aren't I? We have a treat for heavy metal fans right now. This is a new video from Polygram Records, and they're calling it Crash and Burn Rock. It features 30 minutes of blistering sound by groups like Cinderella, Anthrax, L.A. Guns, and others, set to unbelievable footage of fires and crashes and explosions. Imagine that. Do you understand this phenomenon, Robin? Imagine that. But I think you know what it is? It's like for heavy metal dudes, they go to parties and they put this on TV and it's like background, you know, and you see the, the metal crashes. Oh, I see what you're saying. John, do you uh, understand this? Yeah, I mean, it's like when you watch... Uh, like, uh, oh, he's stuttering. Get that camera on him. And when you watch like the Indy 500, like, I mean, it's... I know it's bizarre, but then you kind of... I can't wait till someone crashes and wants to crash. All right, and you only miss the music. Yeah, hey John, we'll get you a copy of this. Just, just take a look at this. Take a look at a bit of this. <laughs> what are you doing, Howard? <laughs> yeah. All right. You don't dance? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> All right. Very good. We got to get a couple of lively spokesmodels in here. You know what I mean? A little conversation, a little dancing. How do they get those girls on in living color to dance? <laughs> I think they're dancers, yes. Oh, that, oh they're dancers. And they gotcha. pay them, yes. All right, that track is available exclusively here on Crash and Burn, nowhere else. It's the heavy metal blowout party tape of the year. Who wrote this? Oh, come on, you talk just like that. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I really like to talk like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm dancing. <laughs> it's available for only $14.95 at Square Circle Record World, brought to you by Polygram Music Video. I'll tell you one thing. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. This is the last show you'll be seeing. This is the last Howard Stern television show. Everybody this, get your VCR. Uh, this is it, man. Going. This is it. This is the last one. And I'll tell you something. We're if you want to know history here. If you want to know why it's the last one, call up a guy named Bob Woodruff and t ask him why. He'll tell you the whole story right here at WWOR. <laughs> What's his number? Uh, 201-330. No, it's 1-800-52 Stern. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to try and progress here, okay? Breast break, Robin. Yeah. yeah! Look how lovely. And your top, what is it? Your dress keeps falling down? Your dress got too big or something. It's supposed what to be Seriously? held up. Because you lost weight. I didn't lost you? weight. And the dress, oh, look at you. Get away from me. <laughs> well, at least it makes you feel better. You were looking so sad. So down in the mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So luscious. So lovely. So feminine. <laughs> Too feminine. So feminine. <laughs> hey, it's a barrel of laughs on this show. Oh, yeah. I got to tell you something. I was just, I wish they would have rolled the cameras. I was just back in the control room yelling at my executive producer and the lawyer for the station who haven't seen this show and were telling me the show was no good. It was more peaceful in Kuwait the other day than it is here on this set. And do me a favor, guys. Videotape the next time I'm having an argument during commercials. Do it. People want to see that. That's compelling television. I'm not difficult to work with. I think I'm easy to work with. I think I'm, you know what I do? Let me tell you something. Where's Chrissy? Bring her in. Chrissy Hine, lady, from the pretend, ladies and gentlemen, from yeah. the pretend. Chrissy, please, come on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. 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 Wait a second. <laughs> Woo. Robin, hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Woo. Hey, hey. Wait a second. Turn around, Chrissy. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. Wait a second. Here, pick that up. Pick this up. Here, come here. Whoa, look at that. I can see your underpants. I can see your underpants. Whoa. Wow, you look great. I'm very happy for you, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow, you look hot. You shaved your legs and everything for me. You're great. She's great. Let me tell you something. I'm not going to play that guitar. I don't want you to play it. Who asked you to play it? He's going to play for you. you I am. Okay. Oh, I, I can't wait. You see, you are always on the defensive. <laughs> I wrote a song for you. I'm going to play guitar. And right away, I'm not going to play the guitar. <laughs> I swear to God, you look so incredibly beautiful. And I said it to you on the radio, and I'm going to say it again. I don't know what happened between you and your husband, the guy from Simple Minds, but he must have a simple mind <laughs> to lose a luscious, talented woman like yourself. Let me sing a couple of your hits. I got brass in pocket. Oh, yeah. I got brass in pocket. What? Yeah, she's got a beautiful voice. She sings like an angel, I swear to God. Man, imagine if you had hooters like Robin. You would be perfect. <laughs> that would be it. these fat things on her chest. You she look said, gorgeous. You look like this. No, you look great. You look great. Oh, you got a problem? Or? No, oh. you look really good. This is the great Chrissy Hind. Big round of applause. Thank you, studio and, audience. And she's uh, here because she just put out a new album. What was I talking about, though, before Chrissy came out? Well, you were talking Who cares? about the problems So the album, uh, okay, the, we'll from talk the people about your album. for the ethical Well, we're abused animals. animals today. Yeah, I'm an abused oh, animal. That's the problem. <laughs> this is, by the way, you should know that you are on the last Howard Stern show. This is it. This is the Thank final you. show. For sharing it with us. Chrissy has a new album. It's called Tame Yourself. I have listened to this album myself, and I have given it my seal of approval. Uh-huh. It's unbelievable. In fact, I have the album right here. Well, the CD. There it oh, is. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, I didn't know it was a box set. There you go. <laughs> that. That's my CD. I'm not allowed to show it. Don't show it to the camera. You just look at it. <laughs> right. I'm not allowed to give out the phone number or anything. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let me just say that Chrissy has a new album, Tame Yourself. It's a collection of all new songs to benefit PETA. That's people for the ethical treatment of animals. I love animals. Sure, I love animals. Chrissy, why do you love animals so much? Seriously. Uh, I don't particularly love animals. No, you love animals. Now all of a sudden you don't love animals? No, I, I, I don't. I love all animals. But you love a lot of animals. And I you... love the idea of loving animals. And you don't you know, some see... of them are a pain in the ass. But you some don't... dogs especially. Ooh, I love you particularly you. don't like dogs. I, I prefer cats. But, yeah. but you don't want women wearing fur coats, am I correct? I don't want people uh, killing cows. Now, to debate you I on love this, cows. But you don't want them wearing furs. Well, I think the, the meat issue should be addressed before the fur issue myself. Really? Well, to debate you on the fur issue... I mean, you can wear a fur coat for 40 years, but how long does a steak last? To debate you on the fur and meat issue, we've asked Ms. Zsa, Zsa Gabor to debate you. A known fur wearer. Do you know Zsa, Zsa? A known fur wearer. She wants... She, Zsa, uh, we have her on satellite from Los Angeles. Uh, Zsa, Zsa? Do you really? Yes, darling. How are you? We have a little trouble with your transmission. I'm coming in, darling. Is yes, for real? Yes, this is for real. Here we go. It's getting a little better. <laughs> yes, now, Jaja, yes, tell darling. us, why do you uh, like fur? So I see you are wearing your fur in defiance of what yes. Chrissy Hind is saying. Well, what is up? Of course, darling, I, I'm crazy about my fur, you know, darling? Yes. I love my sabers, and I love my minks, darling, and I love my foxes, and I love my little possum, darling. Right. <laughs> I 
I even love my fur underwear. You want to see how... You are I... wearing fur underwear? Let me see that. That's right. It keeps Zaza so nice and warm and toasty, you Let know. Let me see your fur underpants, Zaza. Oh, I got nothing to show you my fur underwear. It keeps me toasty where men like Zaza nice and uh, Christy, toasty. Now, Chrissy, what do you think? What do you think of what Zsa is wearing? Uh -huh. I think it's terrific. You like what Zsa is wearing? Yeah. You wouldn't like to spray paint her or anything. You, uh, uh, would you like to spray paint her coat, Chrissy? Uh, no, I, I think it looks lovely. You like her? I think it suits her. Now, now Chrissy, seriously, <laughs> is there not going to be a debate here? Now, you're upset about animals and birds. She's not debating. What? She doesn't debate. She really doesn't know what she wants, you know? Well, you tell us about it. But I was told, you know, Chrissy, I, was, I would like to take and make a coat out of you and Bob Barker and all of these people that don't like, you know, the, the, the animal lovers, you know, who want Zsa to be chilly, darling, because I will never be chilly. I will always have my furs. Then I buy a coat. The animals, they are already dead. All right? right? right. I insist on that, however. Right, you never they have... They always are sure, Zsa, when she buys the coat, that the animal is already dead as a doornail. Now, All Chrissy, right? Chrissy, I don't uh, need... I don't need to have my coat jumping around when I'm cutting into my steak, darling. Uh, <laughs> Now that, what is I that? Think a, you look marvelous, darling. I really you do. You like the way she looks. Like what is that you're wearing? A fo is that a fox that you have? Uh, I'm wearing my fox, you know, darling, and I have all my little animals around, and I have my little, my little baby over here. All right, very good, Josh. <laughs> Thank you so much. And your books, they are not much. plastic, darling. They are leisure, right? And your wallet and your person's are rabbit's foot that you rub when you want to get your record sales, which in your case I recommend, you know. Thank you, Zsa. Zsa, thank you. You are a nude neck, Chrissy. Thank you. Oh. She, isn't she, she wonderful? She is. Zsa <laughs> Zsa Gabor, everyone. I love you, darling. Thank you, darling. I love you, darling. I love you. Thank you I so much. You. There she goes, Zsa Zsa. Jeez. Oh, that was fun. You know who that was? That was Marilyn Michaels, the uh, impressionist. Was it? You didn't like that? I didn't even know who you were this morning. I know. That... <laughs> I think Chrissy digs me. I think so. We're getting into a yeah, whole little... Well, you know, I always thought of you... Don't count on it, pal. What do you mean by that? Why are you so tough with me? Why are you so tough? What do you think? That turns me on? Do you find me attractive? Seriously, looking at me now... I think you're... you're, you're yeah, you're... Uh, uh, you're attractive. Really? Is it so hard but to I'm... say that? <laughs> she was having trouble. I'm... You know, you could, I, I could be one over to, you know, looks aren't that important to me. Let me put it that way. Oh. Really? Oh, uh, so my, yeah. Cause it's he, personality, you know. Because, well, Ray Davies is a good looking guy from the Kings. Yes, she he dated. Is. Yeah. But, uh. You don't like Jim Kerr. No, don't. <laughs> no, it's that personality. I love opera. <laughs> this, is the, this is the way to my heart. Just sing to me like that. It's so sad, too, because my, um. I just got a call from the hospital. My wife died. She was on her last legs. You she told us on, this morning. She was in a horrible car crash on her way to the cancer ward where she was being treated for cancer. She had a terminal illness, but it was the car that killed so her. So she was driving there, and she crashed, and her last words to me was, date a celebrity. Oh. And, uh... You are my little celebrity. So we're, we are perfect now. And my kids are so upset. But, uh, listen, they gotta get over it. They need a new mommy. <laughs> and who better than Chrissy? And I've got two kids, too, so... Well, let me just, first of all, thank my new good friend, yes. Chrissy Hind. Am I your good friend? Yeah. I am. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, whoa, wait a second. Hold it a second. Don't you... <laughs> Never mind. No, oh, wait a second. Oh, come on. You were going to give me a lift. No, I wasn't. You were. Come on. No, I wasn't. I was teasing. Don't you tease me, you little tease. Oh, give me a kiss. Come on. You know you want to. She loves those stupid animals more than she loves me. It's like one of those puppies with the wet noses. <laughs> All right, she doesn't want it. All right, now, let me tell you about this. Here's our beautiful spokesmodel. What Do happened to our spokesmodel? Hey, what happened? What is this? What is that, a Beatles wig? <gasps> is that what that is? What, you put a wig on? Who told you to do that? Kevin, is that you again? Come here. Come here. Come here a second. I, this is the last show. This is the last show. I'm not going to be embarrassed. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, Chrissy, look at this guy. 
Look at this guy. Look at this. An ascot. <laughs> why do you wear this? Tell everyone. Where's that? Where's the microphone? Don't blame me for this, though. It's in the rundown. No, why do you wear... Beetle wig on model. Beetle wig on model. That's... Whose idea was that? Uh... Come here, you. Come here. <laughs> Look at this ascot. Why do you wear it? Tell Chrissy why you wear that. I wear it because I have a cold. No, just tell, every, tell the world why you wear it. Also... To hide you wear, my hairy neck. No, you wear that because you have a cold. Now, how does that prevent a cold? That doesn't keep your neck warm. warm because I had a cold Chrissy, in my Chrissy, tell him how stupid he looks. Go ahead, tell him. Well, maybe if he put some Vic on it. All right, very good, Chrissy. <laughs> she shook up for my love making. All right, hey, you guys remember the Beatles? Well, now you can remember the Beatles, too, with... Hey, Chrissy, you like the Beatles. Love them. Look at this. Honey, you play your cards right. I might just give you this. <laughs> this is a Beatles coin. See it? Now you can remember the Beatles, too. Chicago Land Processing is offering a limited edition of the first ever Beatles coin. This is a Beatles commemorative coin. This one, titled Help, is the first in a series of 13 album covers and 14 individual Beatles. See, look at the back. There's the Beatles. This is one troy ounce of pure silver. Each one is individually numbered. Look at Chrissy looking me over. She likes... She, she can't like, believe it. She can't believe it. <laughs> Only 10,000 will be made worldwide. And each comes complete with a complete biography and color photos in a suede-like book. Hey, this is better than Crash and Burn, isn't it? A suede-like book. A suede-like book. Now, you can buy this set or just an individual coin. Help is $34.95 plus $3 shipping. Now, these are collective's items, aren't they? What would Abbey Road be? Abbey Road would... You couldn't afford it. I say you couldn't afford it. What the hell is that wig? Beatles wig. Okay, do me... I'm going to take this off for a second. Come here, come here. Oh. There we go. Right, That's where it belongs. I need some hair. There, that's much better. Now I'm not so distracted. <laughs> Call 1-800-342-7100. It's Swingers Hookup with your host, Chuck Lunch. Hey, you remember last week, don't you? Boy, what a show that was, wasn't it? When we got those swingers all hooked up, now it's time to find out what happened on their date. God, I love this, huh? Do you smell the ratings like I do? Take a deep breath. Saturday Night Live is doomed. Go ahead, I dare you to tune over. I dare you. Go ahead, tune over. I'll give you time. Go ahead, and take a look what at what they're doing. On that date? What was that, Robin? And miss what happened on that date? Oh, yeah. look at you. <laughs> miss what's happening on your chest with that outfit. <laughs> First of all, our contestant was Goldie. You remember Goldie, everyone? Yes, she's 23 years old. She's a swinger, and she loves men, hot tubs, and jacuzzis with two or more partners. Yes, indeed. It is Goldie. Come on in, Goldie. Goldie, you all right? Yeah. There she is. Take a seat, Goldie. Good to see you. All right. And let's hope you found true love, Goldie. <laughs> All right. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you what's happening. Ease up, Goldie. Don't talk so much, okay? <laughs> love your stockings. Where'd you get them? I got them in New York. You did, did you? You don't want to tell where because I understand you don't want the other girls getting the stockings. I understand. <laughs> okay. That's, that's fair enough. I understand women. Now, let me tell you, couple number one in our game was in their early 20s. Their names were Bob and Joyce. You remember them. They were swingers. Creative sex on the roof of their car at the driver. Of course, they didn't win. Number two was, in their mid-twenties, John and Valerie. You remember them? Goldie, you remember last week? Do you remember an hour ago? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Now, John and Valerie are swingers. They're into hot tubs and sex in natural settings. They're into hot tubs and sex in natural settings. And couple number three was Danny and Simone. Now, Danny and Simone impressed you the most. Their swingers are into drinking, partying, and picking up other swingers. Hey, at least they have interests. <laughs> now, you chose couple number three. Yes. Now, from what I understand, couple th number three never went on the date with you because the guy didn't show up, right? Is that correct? No, we went on the date. You did go on the date, but you only went with Simone. And another boy, Richie. Simone found another boy for the yeah. date? So there was a swinging situation. Yes. Well, let's welcome to our show, Simone. Simone, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Now, Simone, tell me about this date. Did you find true swinging love? Oh, yeah. 
You did? Yes. <clears throat> Love occurred. Well, look at you. You're all dolled up, aren't you? <laughs> now, who put that hair together for you? Excuse me? Who put that hair together for you? It looks nice. It looks very nice. Don't you look beautiful tonight? You are a go-go dancer, is that correct? Yes. All right. Now, what happened? Where was the guy who was supposed to go on the date? What happened to him? He got sick. He got <laughs> sick. Was it anything you gave him? Chicken or, uh... out. What does he have exactly? What Do we know? I forget. A you fever or something. A fever. All right. Now, obviously, uh, the two of you are uh, very much uh, into each other, but he was not available, so you decided to go out and pick up a guy. Well, I didn't exactly pick him up. I called him up. Well, let's take a look at some of the video of that. You okay. two went out on the date, and, uh, of course, you had to go find the man quickly. So there you are in the limousine that we provided. Is that a limousine or a bus? <laughs> it's a bus. A it's a bus? It's a, a van. van. Boy, what a class show. <laughs> now, who's this guy? Richie. That's Richie? Oh, boy. Now, how did you find him? How did you find Richie? At a bar. At a bar. <laughs> and uh, you got him inside the bus, the party bus. And look how beautiful you look for the day. When you first met Richie, Goldie, and Simone, were you happy? Were you pleased with their appearance? Yes, I was. You were attracted to the both of them? Yeah. And you were excited for a big night of fun, weren't you? Yes, I was looking forward to it. And we sent you over to a hotel to have dinner in the hotel room, is that correct? Mm hmm Let's find out what happened right after these <laughs> words. Hey, we're back. And it's good to see you. All right, anyway, Goldie was just telling me during the commercials that thing got, things got pretty heated up on this beautiful date. As a matter of fact, you said they weren't that wild. Simone wasn't that wild, was she? You were more wild. Simone was all right, but the guy was, you no, know, he was shy. He, was, he didn't want to go in front of the camera. Really? Yeah. Well, it sounds like the two of you, the, all three of you sat down to have something to eat. Now, you ate, uh, what, did we provide a good no, meal? No, I didn't eat, but yeah, there was a good meal. She ate it. Simone ate the meal. Mm -hmm. Simone, you were happy with that, and you were getting in the mood for love. Were you attracted to Goldie? Oh, yes. And, this, and you've made love to many women before, have you not? A few. A few. <laughs> so, uh, Goldie is your type. Now, at yes. what point did you start getting romantic, Simone? Now, how did you make the first move? She did. <laughs> she made the first move? What did she say? She didn't say anything. She just grabbed me. She grabbed you and started what? Kissing you and hugging you? Feeling, kissing. Now, I believe we have tape of this, so I'm going to roll the tape right now. Let's take a look at the tape. Now, from what I can see here, the two... That's your hotel room. Yes. And it looks like you're on oh, your nice way to eating place. some dinner. Nice place, by the way. <laughs> Very nice. Now... You gotta pick the most expensive stuff on the menu. Let's see now. 18 bucks. Oh, now there's your friend, Richie. Stuck in the back. Here comes Goldie from the can. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Right in like that? Wait, can we hold this tape for a second? Excuse me, hold the tape for a second. Can we stop the tape for a second? Now, let me ask you a question. You mean, did, is that literally the way it happened? The second you walked in the room like yeah. that? You mean Have you, you ever heard of foreplay? <laughs> but now that's not, was that romantic, Simone? Was that what you expected? Yeah, we, th we didn't need foreplay. You didn't need any foreplay, you liked it right away. That was it, that was fun. <laughs> that was the beginning. You were very obviously attracted to them. Let's roll the tape. I can't believe we're rolling the tape. Let's play spin the bottle. All right, you're playing spin. Now, Goldie seems to be the aggressor. She's suggesting spin the bottle. She's suggesting other things. She seems to pull her top down. Simone, now, why are you... Now, you're playing spin the bottle, right? Richard. Here, baby. Wow. Come on. Wow, we. Well, you did hit it off, didn't you? Holy cow. Now, this is a real lovely date. Now here is... Uh, Simone is in a towel? Whoa! What's going on? Simone, now hold it. Stop the tape! <laughs> now how did Simone... Simone, where did you I end up in a towel? Bath. I'm kind of confused here. Can you tell oh, me? Oh, because she gave me a bubble bath. She gave you a bubble bath? <laughs> yes. Did we miss that part of the tape? I guess so. Can we... Is it so dirty that we can't see it? Is that the problem? It yes. is so dirty that we can't show it here. What are we calling ah. this game? Swingers hookup. On the swingers hookup game, we cannot <laughs> show this. It is so dirty. Let's get back to the tape. Well, there was uh, Simone and Goldie. Now, whoa, wait a second now. Oh, whoa. Now you're back out of your towel. You're back into your outfit, and there's kissing going on. Well, you guys really hit it off. Isn't that wonderful? I am so... Now, is your top down there, Goldie? No. And you are very forward, aren't you? Now, what is this, the ride home? Yeah, we did. I don't know. The date. Well, it obviously was very successful. I must tell you something, though. I feel like I'm missing something. Was actual lovemaking uh, going on during this date? Some. Would you like to date Simone again? Yes. Now, Simone... Would you find another guy? 
I don't think there's any problem. <laughs> now, Simone? Yes. Would you like to date Goldie again? Yes. You would? Well, come on out here and let's talk about it. <laughs> you like the way she looks? Yes, yeah, she looks good. Now, well, let me ask you something. You're more attracted to men or to women, Goldie? Both. You are equally attracted. Now, why is your coat over your beautiful legs? Oh, I'm sorry. No you way know, you to want sit. Me to see. Yeah. Now, you think she looks good like that? Yes. And you find her very attractive? Mm -hmm. Do you think you guys will see each other a lot now, now that we've uh, introduced you on this love game? Of course. You yeah, do? We will. Well, let's have a big round of applause for our couple. Yes. And as a matter of fact, Kevin, come on in here. Kevin, come on over here, please. Come on over. Come on over. We just met our new, our new contestant. Come on over here. Mike. Now, come on. Why don't you take a seat? Why don't you take a seat here? I want Mike. You want Mike? Mike, come on, take a seat over here. Mike, you would like a date with him? Come on over here, Mike. All right, Mike. It's a swinger. There's got to be one guy All right, here. Yeah, go with him. There you go, girls. Yeah, show him how to swing. There you go. Now he's very happy. <laughs> You've never seen anybody more happy. Oh, oh, by the way, let me tell you some things here. We're going to be doing a show in a few weeks where we will make a few viewers' dreams come true. What I need... You gotta turn the cue card, my friend. I mean, he's, he's, he's daydreaming over there, all right? If you have a lifelong dream you'd like to fulfill, then write to us at Dreams Come True, care of the Howard Stern Show, WWOR, 9 Broadcast Plaza, Secaucus, New Jersey, 07096. Okay, goodbye. I'm in shock. Marilyn Michaels album and CD, Voices, is available at a record store near you. Three, Justine? Yes. Three, two, one. Good evening. I am General Yankov. Welcome to our briefing. Our U.S. forces were victorious. Next. As you can see by our charts and our series of bar graphs, here's a chart of casualty statistics. Ah, f you. All right, let's try it again. Here is a chart of casualty statistics. Statist. Mother. Here is the chart reflecting U.S. plane kills versus Iraqi plane kills. Next. 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 Now, here is the most shocking and amazing information. Take a look at this chart. Look at the beating. Look General, at the beating. General, yes, yes. What chart is this? This chart? This is a chart of last week's Howard Stern Show rating. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>